as always, this is Ash Plays Galactic Craft, and we're going to be doing space things and junk, as usual. So, if you recall last time, we made our way up to the space station, we built it. I think this is dec decorative tin, I'm not sure, but it looks like it. Um, they like using that stuff for whatever reason. I don't want to float off into space. Luckily, this is not realistic, <laughs> otherwise, I would have been plummeted into darkness and for the rest of the series I would have been floating in stars episode after episode after episode um, the plan for today is to get this place habitable at the very least blocked in with walls and stuff I think what we want to do is block the rest of these three walls in with some blocks and then add an airlock here so we can get in and out to the uh, rocket pad and the book so what we're gonna do is we're not gonna waste any more oxygen pondering we're going to go ahead back to the overworld with our book for Mistcraft, which has made life infinitely easier. If without that, we would have to launch the rocket every time we wanted to go back and forth, which I guess is the point of the mod. The, I guess if you're playing Galacticraft by itself, um, which I think that's what all mod creators really go for. They don't want to build a mod knowing that you're going to have 30 other mods to supplement it. They want to build a mod, so just in case you do play it without any other mods installed, it still can be something that you spend quite a bit of time in, so if that was the case and we only had Galacticraft installed, we'd be doing all sorts of fuel modifications and filling up rockets all the time, going back and forth, um, which would be really tedious actually, considering how long it takes to actually blast off, then choose where you want to go, land, etc. That's a time sink and a half. So what we're doing now is we want to figure out what we want to build the walls out of. I don't think we want to continue building it out of decorative tin. Just a guess let's see how much that stuff cost to build no that can't be what that was um, tin we probably should have dug a block up and saw what that was um because decorative tin or tin decoration block as they call it it's got like these straps and stuff on it if we really wanted to go get some more of that we would just go find the village on the moon and just dig their houses up basically and steal some of that stuff uh, it doesn't look like that's what it is. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We are definitely going to go back and dig up one of the wall pieces and see what that is and see if we can match it. If we can't match it, then we might just end up replacing all the blocks with something else to match. Okay, which is a Space Station 2. Let's go. Alright, let's see what this is. This is a... Oh, it is a tin decoration block. What the hell? Well, how do we make it? It's it's a stone and a compressed tin? Good god, that's expensive as hell. Alright, well, I think we have a quest, everyone. Which is good, because I didn't really know what we were going to do this entire episode. Um, we're going to go to the moon, which is, I'm sure, what everybody wants to do anyway. Uh, first, we're going to go fill our, our uh, tanks up with oxygen. They're about 66%. About that's a guess. And we're going to fill them up after we sleep and get the sun back up so we can get power going to our uh, compressor. Oh, look at all this. Look at all this. So yeah, speaking of all this jibble jobble on the chat window, I'm probably going to be running an update on the mod pack after this episode. So if there's a delay between... Oh, look at this. We have some compressed tin in here, actually. Um, anyway, if there's, a, if there's a delay between episodes, it's because I'm having to do some upkeep because usually after an update there's about 20,000 broken things because of uh, mismanagement with item IDs and stuff. Um, that's what happens when you're not dealing with an official Feed the Beast mod pack if it's ran by somebody else. Uh, they usually don't do a great job making sure the IDs match so that things get replaced like this energy storage module might be replaced with like a fucking pork piece of pork I don't know something n not not this though um, so there's gonna be some there may be some downtime when I'm actually going and manually fixing everything um, if that happens watch my other videos please please God watch them I'm also gonna start playing some different games every once in a while you'll see like a mini series pop up sort of like uh, the Elder Scrolls online mini series and the other first looks but I digress. Let's not talk about that right now. We're busy figuring out what we're doing. Um, we are going to put it in this. Is this right? Let's go, let's go ahead and take them off. Oops, what the hell is this actually? Camera. Oh, I do have that. 
I forgot that I had the camera studio mod at, and damn, I shouldn't be using that. I was going to do some really cool stuff with it, but then I didn't, so that happened. It didn't happen, actually, is the thing. Um, okay, let's go ahead and pop our tanks out. See if we can't fill some of this up. We're going to have to get this thing powered, though. We're going to have to get the oxygen collector hooked up to the power line. There we go. All right. So that's going to be collecting some oxygen. Oxygen. Um, actually, this may be an issue. Let's go ahead and get this off. There we go. That way it's only powering these two machines. Uh, this thing doesn't have power. Let's go ahead. Oh, it's not even plugged in. What the hell? There we go. There we go. Both machines are easily powered. One. Alright, we got this going now. We got it up to 2100. They hold 2700. So that one's almost filled. So once we have our oxygen tanks, we're going to go uh, straight to hell. No, we're not. We're not going to hell. We're going to the moon, which is a close second to hell, actually. We're going to go up to the moon. We're going to find a village. We're going to desecrate it with our pickaxe. Still a bunch of decorative tin if we can find the stuff without these weird straps. See, it, if you change the recipe where you put the tin on the side, I guess, it makes the strappy kind, which I don't really like, to be honest. I don't see what that's about. And, uh... I don't even see the other decorative tin. I think it's because there's two named the same thing. I don't know. Uh, beside the point, hopefully, there, I think there's both types on the moon villages. So we'll just pick the type we like. Maybe even get a few of the extras of the strappy kind in case we figure out something we want to use them for. And then we'll have a plenty of building materials to use on our space station, which is the end goal. The end goal is to build a nice looking space station. And really, we could actually use glass as well, which may actually be the best uh, best thing to use on those walls that we're not going to have an airlock for. Let's see, here's some glass panes right now, actually. Alright, well, that's good, that's good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let this thing fill up. It's a 2100, we have a little bit of time. We can go out here, get some sand from the uh, water around the area. I really should build a bridge over here, shouldn't I? I think I should. At some point, I'm going to build a bridge to this side of the water so I don't have to go around every time. Until then, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna destroy the, uh, the ecosystem here a little bit. There's probably a thousands of squid families just love coming to this particular beach to bury their eggs in the sand. No, that's the wrong, an that's the wrong animal, I'm sorry. Squids don't do that, to my knowledge. Turtles, that's who buries their eggs in the sand on beaches. They just plop all their gross eggs, their gross turtle eggs into the sand. And you know what? That's that's uh, negligent, because how do you think the Ninja Turtles became mutants? Hmm? Somebody, some some mom turtle came to the sands of a beach, crapped out their sloppy gross eggs, and then you know, fucking Bebop and Rocksteady came by, just poured like a fucking uh, slushy on top of them. And then all of a sudden, boom, you got yourself a mutant turtle, or four. And then, but now we've got, I mean, I guess really not the best example, because the tur Ninja Turtles are fucking awesome. But they could have just as easily been, like, a malformed turtles with, like, seven legs that can't really function. And then what? Then we'd be talking a whole different story right now, wouldn't we? Alright, I've got, s I don't no idea where I, that was the weird, that was a weird tangent. So I'm, s I'm I apologize about that, but not really, not really. You guys have come to expect that, I'm sure at this point. So, uh, we've got some sand cooking. Let's get... We've got our oxygen tanks filled to the brim with oxygen. Delicious life essence of uh, we mere mortals. Oxygen, everybody. Alright, so, we're going to wait for this glass a little bit. Actually, you know, we don't have to wait for it because we can just go to the moon now. And we'll come back and get that glass before we... Because we have to come back to Earth. Um, to actually get to the space station because the only book to the space station is on Earth. Alright, let's go back to the moon, everyone. Let's check on our moon base. Oh, it's daytime here on the moon. Let's go ahead and reboot our power system. Is there oxygen here? I don't really know. Let's check our tanks. Tanks are going down. Yes, they are actually going down. So this is not sealed, which doesn't matter. Fuck it. I'm not even worried about it anymore, because we're leaving immediately to go do some stuff. Why are there monsters out here? That's a good question, actually. 
I'm going to jump over this fence and head out. Um, we're going to go ahead and actually replace the waypoint. They don't save, as you know now. This mod pack, for some reason, has a real issue keeping waypoints. Alright, we're going to save over. Let's see. Um, this is Moon Base. Alright, it's a flesh color. That's what that makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Something about flesh tones. Alright, we're gonna leave the base now. It's it the, the waypoint's gonna be helpful because we're coming back to the base this episode before we log out. We're gonna head. I think this is uh east. Yeah, so we're going we're going no we're not, we're going south. I'm an idiot. We're going south according to the minimap. And actually I see a tree in the horizon. That means oh look at this free stuff. There's a tree in the horizon and that means it's a village. Alright. What would be cool is if over time you could terraform the moon. Can you do that? Is that a thing in this game? Let's see if there's a terraforming thing. No, we can't. It'd be cool if you could though. That'd be like an, something you should be able to do is terraform the moon or even Mars. All the planets. You should be able to terraform them all. And then like Every planet has a different version of itself where, like, once it's completely terraformed, then the biomes change colors and shit. Oh, that'd be awesome. Okay. Hello, friends. I'm here to, uh... Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm here to actually break down your house, but shouldn't be an issue for you guys, considering you don't even have, like, a wall right here. This, this is supposed... You have, like, a huge gaping hole in the side of your house. I'm just gonna... Ex it's it's less about tearing down your home and just extending your 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 hole that you clearly enjoy having here. I'm just gonna ex extend it a little bit since you like it so much. I'm gonna make it even bigger for you. It's gonna be like stretching out your anus. If um if you're into having things in your anus, which I know a lot of people are, it's normal. Nothing nothing wrong with that. But sometimes you want the anus to be expanded so you. You do it. You do what you gotta do to make your butt hole bigger. God damn it. I have no idea why that... <sighs> Let's just stop there. Let's not go any further in that line of metaf metaphor. Metaphorical line. Okay, and um, you guys have a nice, rich, brown wood road here. I'm gonna go get that meteor in a moment as well. How much of this stuff do we have? Let's go ahead and stick this tin decoration block on our bar so we can count as we go. Don't worry about me. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna take all of it. Just uh, 95-ish percent of your house. The rest of it you can keep though. I'm gonna leave the glass, obviously, because it'll break if I actually try to take it. If you would have made your house out of pure glass, I would never have taken any of it. So think about that. Think about that for a moment. How do you guys? You guys don't breathe oxygen? Is that what? What's happening up here? What do you guys breathe if you don't breathe oxygen? What's what's on the moon? Like, what's the most... What's the air made out of on the moon? I know there's some oxygen, probably. Just not enough for us to breathe. Or maybe there's not. I don't know. Fuck. Really just did not pay attention at all in science class. I really should have. Because it's super interesting. But they're like, you know what? Memorize the periodic table. And I'm like, memorize... No. These nuts. Memorize these nuts. I didn't say that. I was really shy in high school. I did memorize partial parts of it, but then, like, after they were like, okay, th what happened was, they make you memorize, like, a little segment, and then they make you memorize a, s a slightly larger segment of it, and each and each week, you, you have to memorize a little bit more of it, and they give you a test at the end of the week, and you fill in a certain amount of it, and then by the end of it, you have, uh, supposed to memorize 100% of it. And you're supposed to fill it in all of it, but I didn't. You know, I, I was doing well at first, then all of a sudden I wasn't. I just don't have a good memory, and I'm, I'm that's how that's what it comes down to. I just don't have a very strong m ability to recollect things that I've learned in the past. I guess that I probably should have looked into that <laughs> so that I could have got better grades. But you know what? If, if you're having problems like that, you guys need to tell your... Oh my god, what's this hole doing here? I think I might have dug this hole last time I was here. 
No telling how many Mar or Moon Moon people fell into that hole and died. This is probably a a, a budgeting a bu burgeoning. What's the word? It was probably a uh, a nice city. It was like a huge metropolis to be at least. They were going. It was going to be a huge metropolis. At the very least, it was going in that direction. And then some asshole just came by, dug a small hole in the right place, and every every villager just plummeted into it. And now there's like three or four of them just huddled around a house that the same human has now come back and has literally destroyed almost all of it. And I am almost positive that I did this as well. What an asshole I am. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to stop, though. So you may as well just forget about it. All right. How much of this stuff do we have now? Let's see. Two... Three stacks and almost a fourth. I think since we have the beginnings of a fourth stack, it's only right that we continue and get it the full fourth. Get the whole fourth stack going on. And that way, we have four full stacks of this stuff to work with. And I think we gotta dig our way out of here anyway, so we may as well. There we go. How much of this stuff do we have now? Oh, 42. No, what the hell? I'm actually starting to think that these were here. Because I would... Why would I just dig four random holes? Like, not... They're not random, even. They're, like, on the sides... On each side of the house. What the hell did you guys put... Maybe this is meant for me. They just dug these holes hoping that I would fall down and, like, break my ankle? That's rude. I have ankle problems, guys. I have a weak ankle. I, fe I almost, I broke it when I was younger, and now, um, I wake up with, like, a stiff ankle every morning. Inconsiderate fucking moonshins. What a bunch of dicks you guys are. I thought that I was the dick, and I guess I am. Look at your house. But now I'm thinking you guys deserve it. Malicious bastards. Alright, let's head out. Let's go, let's leave these son of a bitch is out behind. Alright, we're gonna actually place a waypoint here, guys, so I can come back and piss on you. I'm gonna piss on you later. Um, I'm actually going to make this um, yellow, if possible. How do I do that? How do I make yellow? I don't really remember. Remember is not a word. It is a word, but it's not the word I wanted to use. Yellow. Boom! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna make it yellow as hell. Piss on these particular moon peop people. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Piss on these particular people. I'll know what that means later. You guys are probably very lucky that this game doesn't remember the waypoints and we'll delete them the next time I log in. But if it remembers them, I'm coming back and I'm going to urinate on you and all of your things in particular. As the waypoint says. And also while I'm here, maybe you guys covet this meteor in, per in particular? Well, c guess what? I'm going to mine the hell out of it with this diamond pickaxe that I just now remembered I needed to mine this. Yeah, give me that. Give me that sweet, sweet meteor. Maybe you can turn these into drugs, and that's when they have it back here. They're just, like, waiting for the, the drug. The guy, there's one special... Moon Bastard, who is really good at uh, manufacturing drugs out of meteors, and they're waiting for him to come by. It's like Breaking Bad on the moon. Well, too bad. I just fucking stole it. All right, maybe we just caused a drug war, which I hope, hope I hope more than anything, we just cause some sort of drug war on the moon. All right, so we're gonna head back to the moon base. Still have plenty of oxygen to work with. We're going to teleport to the Earth. We're going to get the glass from the Earth. We're going to go to our space station with said glass. And we're going to build the walls and stuff. Everything except for the airlock. Uh, we're going to need the airlock. We also need another oxygen sealer. And that's it, really. An oxygen sealer and all the other apparatus you need to make that work. An oxygen collector, etc. Alright. 
All right, we're back. We're back, everyone. Is the oxygen sealer working now? I don't really know. There we go. No, it's still going down. This thing, I probably would have to go up. It should say not enough power. Oh, well, shit. We'd have to go to the roof and break the wires again up there. Hopefully, this uh, the update that I just uh, didn't do it today because I wanted I needed to record. It's actually Sunday, and this is for Monday because I'm gonna go out of town tomorrow. I won't be able to record. And um, hopefully, the the update I'm gonna run is going to fix the power situation. I don't even know why I'm bothering with it, actually. I'm about to leave anyway. Okay, let's go back to the overworld. It's nighttime. I'm going to sleep just because I don't like nighttime. All of the, the, the demons and other such things come out, and they, uh, they make me uh, very, very frightened, actually. Super frightened. Alright, we're, we're back. We needed to get the glass, but I'm dumb. Now, the reason I am not getting more glass is because we're going to turn these into glass panes. And uh, each of those blocks will turn into a bunch of panes, so we should have plenty of glass. Alright, we're going to go to the space station. The uh, Lumberjack 1, if you'll recall, is what we're calling it. We're going to break these panes, I think. Each one broken and what we'll do is if we want to expand this thing and have it look cooler or big just be bigger in general we will build these these each of these little doorways out to another wing if you will but for now oops I didn't want to do that actually I wanted to don't fall out into space please I want to let's see what we're looking at here what are we looking at we've got one two three one two three okay that's that's fine I guess um, maybe not. I don't know. Let's see how many of these we can make. Pressure plate. Button. How do you make those things again? Fuck, I don't even remember. Uh, we needed to, we need a freaking, oh, we don't have any wood or anything. We should have brought a crafting table up here. Let's see, glass. I, sorry, I don't remember how to do glass panes. Yeah, we need a building. We need a crafting tip bench, which is fine. We'll go back and get one. Make one. Whatever we have to do here. Alright. Let's see what we wood in any of these chests. We have a chest. Might as well take that. We have some moon rocks. I'm going to get rid of those in a moment. We actually do have an extra airlock controller. And three airlock frames. Not enough to build another airlock. But it does add to our, our uh, journey towards that. Um, I don't think I saw any, any wood, actually. Maybe I put the wood on the moon. Either way, I'm not going back to the moon. Um, I vowed that the next time I do go back to the moon, it's going to be the time that I, that I actually urinate all over them. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm one, I'm one E. I'm one empty. Way to blow up the fucking stairs. Son of a bitch. I thought I was moving fast enough to get past him. I'm just going to have to build this up with uh, this moon ro this moon rocks. Actually, there should be enough. I'm just going to do this. Fill this in a little bit. And then, there we go. Alright, let's fix this now. Didn't really have... He destroyed a lot. He destroyed a lot, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. This is going to look terrible. We're going to have to deal with it because I have no desire to fix it just yet. Alright. Fill the rest of this hole in as well. We'll get rid of this stuff. It's a good way to remove it from my inventory. That's fine. Whatever. What were we doing? What were we doing? I don't remember. We were getting glass, and then we went back and realized we didn't have a crafting bench. That's what it was. We were getting we were getting wood. That's why I came over here. Jesus, sorry. Th remember what I was talking about earlier? No, my memory. That is exactly what I'm talking about. 
exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, we're going to grab this wood, turn it into planks, turn the planks into a crafting bench, litter, litter a little bit, because you know what, we're going to leave the earth behind at some point forever, so fuck it. Pollute, whatever you want. Alright, let's do this. We're going back to the space station with the crafting bench in tow. We're going to put the crafting bench inside right there and we're going to turn these into panes of glass not bad not maybe not enough I actually I'm thinking about this though I'm gonna put a row of this tin crap on the bottom that way there's a buffer all the way around the window otherwise it would bug the crap out of me then we're going to gently place the glass panes into the proper receptacle this orifice here is going to be glass covered. There we go. Nice. Now these have windows. Now, technically, uh, we can, this is where the airlock is going to be. We can go ahead and place even some of these things. We can put this here. Place um, these three as well. That way we can at least see. So we need how many? Uh, we're going to have to remove these two. That's probably dangerous as hell, huh? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this stuff here across the bottom. That way we know to remind ourselves that the bottom needs to re be replaced with these airlock frames as well. Uh, that's assuming we can't get it done this episode. I don't know. We, we might have enough time and enough uh, stuff to do it. We're just going to have to look up airlocks and see go back to earth while we're at it so we don't waste any unnecessary oxygen all right air lock remember it's two words in this for some reason even though it's not really supposed to be um air lock frames they come in fours we need aluminum steel and oxygen concentrator we actually had one didn't we we had an oxygen concentrator the question is is it in the chest over here or is it on the moon Let's see, we needed, we had three, and that means we need, hmm, we may need, we may need more than four. Here's some steel and some aluminum, and an oxygen concentrator, and some tin. How much of this stuff do we have? That's, hmm, we have some steel ingots we might be able to compress. I'm not sure, let's see. Yes, we can. All right, we're gonna have to put the power down here. Nope, wrong place. There we go. Not sure why I did that. There we go. Getting that, wait, let me look again. Yes, it is compressed steel. All right, so let's go ahead and see how much this costs. Oh, that's not the right thing, is it? It's this. We have any, I don't think we have any tin canisters. We need just plain tin ingots. We have 16 of those. What else do we need, though? Compressed tin and oxygen vent. So the rest is just um, the compressed tin. I don't want to turn it all into this. Let's make, I think you get two or three from this, don't you? Two. Yeah, let's just make this one set and is there anything we can cook in here is that a thing that it does yes all right grab these let's see if we can build one let's see if we can build one set everybody let's do this all right that's aluminum i believe which may be the weak link here. We may not have enough to do as much as we want here. But let's go through and go ahead and make one set of four while we can. And go ahead and go up back up to... This is the great part. We can just go back and forth like it's nothing. Like it's a room across the hall. We can just go right up to the space station. And do this stuff straight up. There's one. Um, we're going to have to remove 
this. We have three, so let's go ahead and remove all three of these. Just fill that in. So we need two more. Two more and we'll have our airlock. So we need one more set. All right, let's head out. Let's head back to the world. All right, everybody. Wow. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have to see what sort of materials we have. We need, what is this stuff? Silver, lead, copper, lead, silver, iron, copper, tin. We might need that. Put that in the corner there. None of this other stuff, though. Alright, let's just go ahead and... Um, tin, aluminum. Alu oh, we do have some aluminum ingots. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and... I don't know how many we need. Um, six. We need six of them. Let's see if we can add. Let's just make six real fast. Actually, that's wrong. We already have two, so we just need four. That might be enough, actually. Alright. Now we need to make one of those things that go in the middle. Alright, let's see. Oxygen concentrator. Come to daddy. Steel and tin. That's what we're going to need first. Tin. Steel. And then... Like that. I think that's tin. Is that tin? Hopefully it is. There there and then steel in the corners boom done all right now we can just do this I think I think we can uh, aluminum across the top and the bottom steel on the sides and then the oxygen concentrator in the middle boom we have it we've done it that's all we should need for the airlock system which we've built before did I show you guys though I don't know if I actually built it on camera I think I may have built it off camera and then just put it together on camera, but we're going to experience the, uh, the, the adventure that it is. Then we just, uh, make it so that it's, a uh, player within one meter. That's what we want. That's what we want, you son of a bitch. Why isn't that working? It won't let us do it. Um... It's kind of busted, isn't it? It's not doing something. Something's missing here. Something is missing here, everybody. Let's go to the moon and see what the settings look like there. Alright. See, we can open and close it at will, basically. And there's no power or anything connected to it. It just works. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. My bad. That's strange. It is very strange. Maybe we need to place the airlock controller, replace it. Let's go back to the fucking science station. Maybe just leaving and entering the world again will fix it. Space station. All right, let's knock this bad boy down. You hear the noise it made. Let's put it back in there now. Oh, it works. Sweet! Look at this. We did it. We made it work. We made the dream a reality. We now have a fully enclosed space station. Next time, assuming that the update doesn't break everything in the entire universe, we're going to be working on getting ourselves another oxygen sealer up here. And you guys, in the meantime, can be thinking about what I should add to the space station. Because I don't know what a space station is really even good for, to be honest. I just wanted to build one because it sounded sweet. But really, what's the point in having one? Is there anything that's specific to a space station that I can build 
to make it really cool and worthwhile having, or is it just worthless and cool to have? I'll leave a comment below if you know. If you have any other ideas for what I should do next, please do that as well. If you like the series, hit like and favorite and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Esh. This is Esh Plays Galacticraft. Well.